Don't just go on your breath. So it's, it's that I was just kissing her on my phone. That's, that's what you're gonna say? That you're kissing your girlfriend, so that's why you have alcohol coming off your breath. I'm sorry, sorry, yeah, uh, that, that was, that's... You're driving 133 miles an hour in a 55 mile an hour zone. Are there any weapons in the car? No. But you got an extended mag Glock sitting on the f***ing passenger seat. Celebrities try to be away from trouble and camera on the daily basis. But what happens when these two collide? Here are different cases when famous people got arrested starting with Playboy Cardi. In September 2022, rapper Playboy Cardi, whose real name is Jordan Terrell Carter, was arrested for reckless driving after allegedly driving at a speed of 133 mile per hour in a 55 mile per hour zone. The incident occurred as he was reportedly rushing to the airport due to an emergency. Hospital? Or are you trying to get to the airport? I'm trying to get to the airport. What time her plane land? Her plane landed what? Plane already landed. Yeah, I was trying to that. So then she's on the ground. She's safe. She can sit there. But you're, you're going to cause yourself potentially a life in prison if you kill somebody while driving almost 80 miles an hour down the, over the speed limit, down the highway, to save yourself, what, 10 minutes? Sure. But I mean, that's, I, I'm not crazy, really. That's just crazy to drive that fast to, to try and save yourself 10 minutes while she, I mean, she's on the ground. What is, what is the dire hurry to get to her that causes you to drive that fast? Just just the fact that she's coming into town and you're running late? It's a lot going on. I just, just trying to get straight to her and get back to the house. So I just told you All right. Well, here's the thing. You're under arrest for reckless driving and a bunch of other traffic tickets. We are going to go. Your car's going to get impounded. We're going to go down to city jail. We're going to get booked into jail. And then whenever they let you out, they let you out. What's up? You gotta speak up, man. With all these cars, I can't hear what you're saying. I said I didn't. I wasn't trying to harm anyone, sir. Okay. But I just what I did was in it, I'm, I'm, I have no reason to go to. I, you got a reason for, for I was speeding, but I'm not a bad dude. I, I, I mean, I didn't listen, brother. I didn't say you were a bad dude. You know, but you just you made just a couple my, decisions that put a lot of people's lives in jeopardy. Can you run my record? Like, you see, like, I mean, that, I'm, I, 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 I might run your record, but it's not gonna change the outcome of what, like. Good behavior doesn't excuse future current poor behavior. Like that would that would be like saying, well, I mean, Your Honor, I've never done anything wrong. Like, can I get a pass on killing this person? Because I've never done anything wrong in the past. Like, I I'm happy you don't have a jacked up driving record. I am. Like, I'm happy about that. But like, it, and then you know you're wrong. I mean, you know you're wrong, because as soon as I start put, driving past you, you jump across five lanes of traffic to try and hide from me on the other side of the highway. I was about to get off my exit. <laughs> the, the airport is 15 miles that way. So either you, so if you're getting off an exit right here, then you ain't going to the airport. No, I got ways on my phone. I'm not lying to you. Brother, come on. I, I literally work traffic and drive the highway for a living. My office is down by the airport. Not, I mean, it's not even all the way to the airport. You literally stay on the highway that you're on, and keep on driving for the better part of 12 miles. So now we're just not being honest with each other. But you're all set. Hang out for us. Sir, before you do anything, just can I just make the phone call? We'll, we'll worry about phone calls in a minute. in the car no but you got an extended mag glock sitting on the fucking passenger seat
seven rounds. Despite claiming an urgent situation, the arresting officer did not accept his explanation and proceeded to place him under arrest for speeding. Additionally, Cardi was found to have a Glock handgun in the vehicle, which was legally registered and being lawfully transported. Despite the initial charges, police records indicate that the charges against Carti were eventually dropped. Three months later, in December 2022, Playboy Carti faced another arrest, this time for allegedly choking his then-pregnant girlfriend during an argument over the child's paternity. Do that. 
He's the type of weird man. He didn't put me next to my favorite rapper in the world. That is crazy. a statement claiming that Cardi was falsely accused. These legal troubles occurred amid Cardi's preparations for releasing his new music album, adding to the attention surrounding the rapper's personal and legal affairs. If you thought this was intriguing, wait until you see the Son of Hulk getting caught, Son of Hulk Hogan. On the 18th of November, 2023, Nick Balia, son of wrestler, Hulk Hogan, was stopped by police in Clearwater after he sped past officers who were already engaged in another traffic stop nearby. Hello. Hey, sir. How much you had to drink tonight? Uh, nothing, sir. Nothing at all? Nothing at all, sir. I'm sorry, I'm just looking for my intro. You almost ran me over. It was me that you almost ran over when you were driving right by me, okay? Right. I, when there's police lights lighting, lighting up the, 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 the uh, road over there. I'm um, so sorry. It's just been a, a night where it was just on our way home and we were leaving. You mind stepping out for me? Yeah. Nice truck. Expensive truck. Yeah, I'm sorry, sir. So where are you coming from tonight? Come on over here. Leaving the beach, heading home? Heading home. Nothing to drink tonight? No, sir. So it's just, you said they're passengers? Yeah, just passengers. But I can smell on your breath. Okay, I'm, I'm sorry, it's, it's them. I was just kissing my girlfriend. Apologize. That's, that's what you're going to say? That you're kissing your girlfriend, so that's why you have alcohol coming off your breath. I'm sorry, sorry. Yeah, that, that was that's what I was talking. Okay. Well, would you mind if I checked your eyes and make sure you're safe to be driving, sir? Yes, sir. Okay. Hey, Sarge, can you kill your lights? 
I want you to just put your feet together from your heels and toes, touching like mine, hands at your sides. Do you wear glasses or contacts, sir? No, sir. Okay, perfect. Have you hit that, your head really, that, really hard in the last 24 hours where you caused you to vomit or something? Um, not in the last 24 hours. Okay. So, you see that red light on my pen? Yes, sir. Why don't you just follow with your eyes, your eyes only, don't move your head. I want you to keep your chin level for me, though. Yes, sir. Move your head, just try us. Just try us. Moving your head, okay? I need you to keep no. your head still, put your nose facing me, and just move your eyes, okay? Sure thing. Okay. The officers pulled him over for speeding, and upon approaching his vehicle, they detected the smell of alcohol on his breath. Bolea denied being under the influence, attributing the smell to kissing his girlfriend. During the encounter, the officers conducted a field sobriety test on Bolia and requested a breathalyzer test. Um, are you diabetic? No, sir. That's a little bit not diabetic. Yeah, you take insulin? No, sir. Okay. You take any medications prescribed to you. Um, I asked you girls already, do you wear glasses or contacts? You said no. no sir. Um, what's your highest level of education? Uh, GED. GED. Okay. Have you, have you consumed any alcohol beverages in the past 24 hours? Uh, no, sir. Have you used any illegal drugs or narcotics to include marijuana in the past 24 hours? No, sir. Okay. This may sound like a silly question, but do you know your left from your right? Yes, sir. Okay. I have to ask some people don't know. Which one's your left? Which one's your right? You got it. Okay. So this first exercise is called the walk and turn. What I'm going to do is put you in a starting position. And once I put you in that starting position, I don't want you to move from the starting position, okay? So starting position, you don't want to move from the starting position. Yep, once I put you in it, okay? But I'm going to show you everything. I'm going to demonstrate it for you. I'm going to give you the instructions, ask you if you have any questions, and then we'll address those questions, okay? okay. You see this line that's painted down in front of you? Yes, sir. You see anything that may prevent you from walking on that line? Any potholes, rocks, or sticks in the way? Uh, Obstructing it? Not, no. No? Okay. Do you feel like there's any reason why you can't walk on that line? Uh, aside from the rain, no, sir. I don't think it's raining that hard. It's time. No, sir. no, it's not raining anymore. Okay. Okay. All right. So the starting position is going to be like this. Okay. Why don't you go ahead and place your left foot on the line? Yeah. Yep. Take your right foot, place it directly in front of your left foot with the heel of your right foot touching the toes of your left. Hands at your side. And I need you to remain in that position until I finish the instructions. Okay. When I tell you to begin, you're going to take nine heel to toe steps on this line, touching heel to toe on each step with no space in between. This is step one, or do we no. step with the your, your, your step is going to be your back foot. I'm going to explain it to you, okay? And I'm going to demonstrate it. Yes, sir. At the end of your ninth step, you're going to make a turn, in which I'm going to show you, and you're going to take nine more heel to toe steps back down the line. Okay. While you do this, you're going to keep your hands down to your sides, look down at your feet at all times, and count each step out loud so that I can hear you. Okay? okay. One through nine, looking at It's going to look like this. I'm going to demonstrate it. I'm going to demonstrate it for you, okay? Yes, Watch me, okay? One, two, three, and so on until you get to nine. On your ninth step, leave your front foot planted on the line, take your back foot off, make a series of small steps, just like this to turn yourself around while pivoting on that front foot. And once you completed the turn, I want you to return back down the line with nine more heel toe steps. The back foot's gonna be your first step, I'm gonna show you again. One, two, three, four, and so on until you get to nine. Okay, now, I want, during that exercise, I want you to keep your hands at your sides, okay? Look down at your feet at all times, kind of spell out loud. I stop so that I can show you to turn. I don't want you to stop. Okay. Once you start the exercise, don't stop walking. Turn, 
Don't stop. While Bolia appeared to hesitate about taking the breathalyzer, his father, Hulk Hogan, arrived at the scene upon learning of his son's situation. Hulk Hogan expressed concern for his son's well-being and indicated that he would arrange legal representation. I'm not proceeding. Yeah, you can go ahead and take a look at it now. I can't hold it. I'm sorry. Oh, I got you. Are you a CDL holder? No, sir. Huh? No, sir. Okay. Do you understand that, sir? You good? Yeah, I'm so slow reader. Still reading. Still reading, boss man. All right. Well, listen. I read it to you. Okay. I'm still reading, man. I'm sorry. Right. I'm, I'm, still, I'm still listen, reading, man. Listen, I've sorry. read it to you. What that basically says is that if it's the first time you refuse, you lose your license for a year. If it's the second or subsequent refusal, so if you refuse in the past, it's going to be an 18 month suspension on your license, and it's an additional charge for for it. Okay. For okay. for refusing. So with that said, I'm going to ask a final time if you're willing to give me a sample of your breath. May I speak to my legal counsel? No. When it comes to implied consent, no. You don't get a legal counsel, okay? There's no legal counsel. No, not when it comes to implied consent, no, sir. Okay. Breathalyzer. Hey. Uh, okay. Hey. Yeah. You understand what I'm saying to you? Yes, sir. It's up to you. Uh, I can't make a decision. I can't make a decision. No, sir. I can't make a decision. Okay. So this is what I'm going to do. I'm going to take you down to the instrument. I'm going to give you the opportunity down there to provide samples since you're indecisive. I just, I'm indecisive. Okay. I'm sorry. Okay. That's fine. Spread your stance for me. Nice and wide. Nice and wide. Over here to my side, okay. Got it for a minute. Sir, just have a seat inside here for me. Watch your head as you step in, okay? Yes, sir. He's impaired, driving. He's impaired? Mm -hmm. He's currently in custody for DUI. DUI. Did he, did he blow? Okay. We're at that point right now where he's asking if he's willing to blow or not. Cool. Let me find my way real quick. See what route this is. Crazy. Sorry about this. It's all right. Basically, the, if he refuses, he's just going. He's going to lose his license. I think he has refused. I think that's where this, that's where we are with it. Give me a second. So if he refuses, he's going to have the opportunity to go to a, a driver's license hearing, where he can get a hardship driver's license. The interaction between father and son was captured on the body cam footage, showing Hulk Hogan checking on Balea and ensuring he was okay. Ultimately, Balea was charged with DUI, driving under the influence, based on the suspicion of alcohol impairment. I heard her attitude. You know, I didn't know if she got him in trouble or if he'd been drinking, but I was really surprised when, when the, the, the guy said he was drinking. That's the, the other officer said again. He's got alcohol in his breath. So. Yeah. I'm 
by their tent because I had uh, a couple of my friends come in town. Jason Aldean's DJ was there, and so I went by at 10. I stayed till quarter to 11, and when I was there, he didn't bring anything in front of me. Of course, he was right there DJing, and I was sitting this close next to him, and he didn't, so he must have started drinking after I left. If he had one breath, he must have drunk like shots of liquor or something, because something changed. I mean, I smelled it when I came up on it, but I didn't, you know, I, he ducked his head away from me, so I couldn't look in his eyes. Yeah. My eyes are usually the window to the world, so. Yeah, oh, I just yeah. Couldn't, couldn't figure it out from there. Yeah. How are you? Can we help you? Uh, yeah, I came here for to help drive Tana or the other person at home. Oh, they're already gone. Oh, they're already left? Yeah, yeah. Okay. Right. Thank you. Yeah, I thought she picked an expert that they left. But... You guys have a good night. Yeah, you too. Sorry. It is reported that he was arrested following the incident, adding to his history of legal troubles, including a previous conviction for reckless driving in 2008. Away from alcohol, this next actor was caught abusing his girlfriend. Let's see how it goes. Zachary Brian Zachary. Ty Brian, known for his role in Home Improvement, faced a troubling situation in July of 2023, which stemmed from a reported dispute at his home. The 41-year-old actor was heard blaming his girlfriend, accusing her of being manipulative and initiating the alleged attack until the cops intervened. I can't hear you. Is it hot for you back there? Do you want oh, no, I'm to good. I'm good, man. I'm good. You're good? But I'm gonna bail out like super soon and I'm getting the f out of this city. So f***ed up. I don't know why you guys did this to me. Well, I didn't do it to you. She's so pissed, huh? What? She's so mad. I get why you're upset. It is what it is, but it's pretty f***ed up, dude. I literally got attacked, and I'm the guy that's going to jail. You guys be, you guys got to be careful of like how you uh, assess situations. Yeah, this is like the opposite of what you should be doing. Well, the, the, thing that, the thing that separates it for me, Amanda, is that there was two people there telling me this. Yeah, and it's her dad right, that's... Right, yeah. I get it. And maybe, and maybe, you know what, people lie to me all the time, right? They're pathological liars. But two people were telling me the same story and they told it to me separately. The reality is that she can't have me, and she's trying to put me in jail for it. And Zach, I looked at, do you go by Zach or Zachary? Well, just Zach. Zach, I looked at in my report. Well, I appreciate it, man. I've already had a hard enough time, dude. What do you mean? Oh, the media hates me, man. Go ahead. The media isn't going to have anything to do with this, dude. I don't know why you say that. Yeah, it will. TM TMZ is going to get it, trust me. I just don't think I did anything wrong, man. What's up, dude? I don't think I did anything wrong. I left without, they'll, I left without your phone and wallet. They'll bring it down, okay? You swear? Yes, absolutely. Okay. Dude, that's all that matters to me is that I get my phone yeah. and my wallet. And then I, I'm gonna, I literally want to just walk away from this chick, dude. Yeah. 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 Ye
That's all I asked for. As seen, Brian was expressing frustration and disbelief, emphasizing his innocence and asserting that he never intended harm. Despite his complaints, the cops proceed with the arrest process. Brian expresses concern about potential media attention and the impact on his reputation. You should go through the text message. She literally says, she's like, I'm going to put you in jail. Why? I don't know, because she's a, she's a f***ing psychopath. I know, but how does that conversation come up? Like You just have to read it, dude. Read it. It's in my phone. She has my phone, but it's in my phone. She's like, I'm going to put you in jail, and I will, I'll, come to, I'll come see you. That's literally what she says. Yeah, like, like basically, like put me behind bars, and then yeah, it's so f up, dude. And this has happened a previous time between you two. Yeah. Yes, sir. Please arrest her. She's a liar. She's a manipulating piece of shit, dude. If you can do it to me, you can do it to her. I wasn't even around her the entire time. She went after me. She thinks her shit doesn't stink, dude. Zach, how tall are you? Six foot. How much you weigh? 195. What? 195. What color hair do you have? Sandy blonde. Eyes? Blue. What's your so- Are you a veteran? No, sir. Where were you born? Colorado, Denver. What and your address? 1388 Bon Lane. Well, what's your actual address? Oh, uh... Zip is what? And your phone number? She called it though. She got me. So wild, huh? Be, care be careful who you date. It's unfortunate. He recounted past conflicts with his girlfriend and portrayed her as untrustworthy. Throughout the interaction, Brian maintained his innocence, claiming self-defense and alleging manipulation by his girlfriend. Despite that, the cops continued with the arrest, prompting Brian's frustration and disbelief. I said, thanks for being a friend. I think you know how it all went down, dude. It's not that I don't... Man, I have to go... Well, I'm gonna put you on the fucking stand, dude. Cause... Put me on the stand? Huh. <laughs> My lawyer will, yeah. What do you mean? You're gonna have to answer questions. I'm happy to answer questions for anybody, dude. Let's just get through this process and... Right, but... I mean, I'm not, I haven't not been fair to you. You've been great, dude. Okay, uh, okay, no, I'm, but yeah, I, don't get insecure. Honest. You're good. I'm not yeah, insecure you're good, man. You're doing I do great. This every day. You're doing a great job. Thank you. 
I just, yeah, I just, I'm not looking forward to like going through the process and all this bullshit. Me neither. I'm, I don't want that for you either. Yeah, I don't want that for you either. I think you guys need to like look into like the real problem. These girls are the problems. They they literally suck you in and then dry, dude. It's like you, you got to pay attention to these things. If you want to do your job proper, that's what you got to do. What's your name? My name's Mike. Mike Zach. Nice to meet you. It's nice to meet you, Zach. Yeah, dude, I don't know I don't know what you're doing. I don't know how you feel good about this, but I don't feel good about it. Yeah, you should. I don't feel good about any of this. I don't want yeah, this. You gotta hit quotas, but dude, it's up, man. We don't have that. We don't have quotas. I got called to your guys' place. I was kicking it with my, my, my good friend. Who was the guy across the street? Yeah, Chris, yeah. Seems like Dude, he's a, he's a, he's a, he loves mushrooms. He's a good guy, man. I don't know, I don't know how else to call him, but he's a good guy. Yeah. And I literally was just like chilling there, and then you guys came for me. It was so weird. Because we got a call. Yeah. Well, f the call, dude. So f***ed up, man. So f I didn't do anything. Zachary Ty Bryan later pleaded guilty to felony assault charges related to the incident.